G'day everyone, James Edge here, PGA professional down at East Lake Golf Club. I'm gonna go through drill of the week. So drill of the week is the one-handed chip drill, and this is gonna be great for the golfer who when they come up to a chip shot or a pitch, and they come into the ball, they duff the club before the ball, they might also get too high and thin the ball, goes along the green, or they might take a big long backswing and then decel coming into impact. This is gonna be great for you. What you're gonna need for this drill is a sand wedge, gap wedge, pitching wedge. Uh, I've got a target out there, the blue pole, ball, and you might need some target lines as well, just to line your face up to the target correctly. What I'm gonna to do to start off with is I'm going to use my trail arm. So for me, I'm right-handed, my right arm, and I'm gonna hit a chip shot, and we're going to get my left arm behind, and we're just gonna see the result of that. So I'm gonna give that a go now. Okay, pretty confident with that. Had the left arm behind the back, right arm was holding the club. I felt my right side do the motion of the chip. Now we're gonna to go to my left arm. So I'm, this is my less dominant hand. And we're gonna give that a go now. So let's set up to the shot. Again, normal right arm behind the back now or the trail arm behind the back. Look at the target and then swing and hit. Okay, I got a good result there with my lead arm, the left arm. But generally, the reason why this drill is so good is it's going to show your weakness in your chipping motion. Some people might be the trail arm, some people might be the lead arm, but I would guess to say that seven times out of 10, the lead arm would be the weaker one for most people, um, which is quite ironic because golf is actually an asymmetrical sport. So one side needs to be stronger than the other. So if I'm right-handed, we need the left side to be stronger and to have more control. Uh, if I was left-handed, we need the right side. So do this drill, figure out which side you're better on. And if you are weaker on the lead side, so for me, left side, do more work on that because you're gonna need more proprioception on this side to be able to have stability in your chip motion. And it's gonna reduce the duffing the thins because generally all those problems I mentioned before uh, coming into impact, posting back problems. So having the lead side working correctly will help you to fix those problems and make you a better chipper moving forward. So if you like this content, please hit the like button below. Uh, and if you wanna see similar content to this, whether it's off the tee, approach the green, scoring zone, around the green, putting, mindset core strategy, please hit the subscribe button below. And remember, persistence pays off and I look forward to seeing you next time, bye.